Hey guys, welcome back to a grocery haul. I've not done a grocery haul in over a month because we have not been grocery shopping in over a month. I know. We've been using up our stockpile, using up our frozen stuff. We have not had fresh fruits and vegetables in this house in several weeks. And it was time. So this is an HEB haul, a fairly large one for HEB. It was $527. It is mostly food. It does include some like household goods for Christmas time just because they had them and I wanted to make sure I picked them up even though Christmas is not for like three and a half weeks, you know. I wanted to make sure I have them. So yeah, we're stocking up the pantry, uh, pretty much just stocking the pantry. I got a couple of things for the couponing shelf, stocking up the freezer and the fridge. So let's jump right in. I probably will have a Costco haul closer to Christmas because there are some things that we plan on getting specifically for Christmas that are from Costco. But HEB is probably my favorite place to shop just because you can get so much even though it was $527. It's so much food. The girls are in the back eating pizza, so you're probably going to hear them at some point. You're gonna hear Everly. And yes, I picked up a pizza after spending $527 at HEB because it's already late. It's 6.25 and I did not wanna come home and cook dinner and I have work tomorrow. So let's jump right in. I'll start down here because I did not have a place for these. So we actually had these for Thanksgiving this past week. Um, they're the Nature's Grain Hawaiian Brown and Serve Rolls. I think they were around $1.50. That's what my mom said she paid for them during Thanksgiving time. Well, rewind a few days, or fast forward a few days after Thanksgiving, they were four for a dollar. So it's 12 rolls and you just brown them. So they're essentially cooked. You just stick them in the oven or um, we actually put them in the air fryer and they came out really, really good. You can use these for really whatever you want. Um, but we got them for pulled pork sandwiches one night for dinner and ham and cheese, little sliders another night. Um, and four for a dollar, I bought 12. <laughs> and whatever we don't use, we are going to stick in the freezer. This is the stuff that I bought for Christmas. So just some fun plastic cutlery in green and in red. Again, just for fun. We usually use paper products for all our holidays because it's easier. I bought the Christmas cups. So these are the 18 ounces. They have mistletoe on them. And then the this one is a nine ounce and it has little ornaments. And then some paper plates. So I got all that. We already had napkins left over from last year. I think this is stuff I'm going to look at this year if they have it on clearance after Christmas and stock up for next year. It's not overly expensive, but if I can get it half price, why not? So that's for Christmas. Now here's an overview of all of the groceries. The last few vlogs, we have not had a lot of pantry stuff. Normally I put all the pantry stuff here on um, the island and normally it's perfectly fine, but we are overflowing today because we did need to stock up on some stuff. We like to have these number 10 cans of fruits that are like hard to get year round or that are just hard to cut or whatever. Um, they happen to have peach slices, so I got those and the pineapple chunks. And what we'll do is open the whole thing, stick it in the fridge, and then the girls can just eat off of it, off of it from there. I have tomato soup. We're finally getting a little chilly here in San Antonio. Tomato soup on the menu with grilled cheese, so I picked up one of those. Um, beef stroganoff another night, so I picked up a cream of mushroom. I like to have pasta sauce just on hand. This was only a dollar a can for the Hunts, tomato basil, and four cheese, so I picked up those. And then some more canned goods here. Two of the Wolf Brand Chili Hot for my Hinnabini, two garbanzo beans, two of the diced fire roasted and garlic tomatoes, and two of the chili with turkey, uh, no beans. And then a whole case of green beans. I still have a couple of number 10 cans of green beans, but I picked up a whole case because they were two for a dollar, which is a really great deal. Those, and then I got six of the refried no fat beans, and I think that's all for canned goods, yes. So then in the back here, I know it's like all stacked up and crazy. Um, we haven't bought Hamburger Helper in so long, but the girls had this at Chubby and Melissa's this past weekend and they asked for it. So I picked up a couple. This is cheesy Italian shells. And these are great easy dinners, not the greatest for you, but very easy. All you do is throw a pound of ground beef with it and very cheap dinner, to be frank. So crunchy taco. Um, we got some hot and spicy Cheez-Its for my Hennepinny. Some instant oatmeal, the fruit and creamy. We let the girls have one packet of this with 
the, the other half of it regular oatmeal. So it has some flavoring, but not all the sugar and stuff. It's half and half. Triscuits, fire roasted tomato, and olive oil. Up here, um, some classical four cheese Alfredo. I got two of those. Two of the mandarin oranges for Everly. We have some fruit cups that we bought from Costco on the couponing shelf, but Everly really likes the mandarin oranges, so I picked her up those. These were a dollar off, so I wanted to try the fiber one. This is the protein bar and caramel nut. And then these are so good with coffee in the morning, you guys, or like hot chocolate or whatever. They're the soft bake bar cinnamon coffee cake. They're only two smart points on Weight Watchers as well. We have a surplus of dressings because we are having Everly's first birthday party next weekend. We're doing um, chicken and shrimp Alfredo and salad. So I picked up the Bolt House Classic uh, Ranch, Light Ranch, Green Goddess, Olive Garden Light Italian, Ken's Raspberry Pecan, Light Balsamic Vinaigrette, light Italian. Um, this is for Italian chicken. And then those are all the dressings that I got. Back here we picked up a Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free dressing, a couple of popcorn seasoning in white cheddar and in ranch. We haven't had those. I have a, an oatmeal recipe I want to make and it called for steel cut and all I had was old fashioned. Some panko, panko seasoning bread crumbs. Um, this is for spring rolls, a sweet chili sauce, two things of peanuts, one of the dry roasted and lightly salted, and one of the dry roasted and seasoned. Some G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce in sweet and spicy. I've never tried this one, but it sounded good. Some nopolitos. You can make this with eggs. You can throw it with some ground beef or ground turkey for tacos. It's really good. My honey bunny was out of his Valentina. He usually likes Tapatio, but they didn't have the big one. So we just picked up that one. Some mean green sour apple belts. I don't know if my honey bunny wanted those. Some country gravy for biscuits and gravy one morning. Chicken and gravy. I have chicken and gravy on the menu. Cinnamon sticks for, I think for hot cocoa is what he got those for. And then machacado for whatever you use machacado for, chicken broth and beef broth. I like to have these on hand. I needed this for a couple of recipes this coming week, but I like to have them on hand just in case. And then the fettuccine, I got five pounds. We probably will only need three to four, but I got five just in case for Everly's party. Back here, we have goldfish. These are the extra cheddar for the girls. We picked up a couple of fun fruit roll-ups. This is the pizza one that they can build their own little fruit roll-up pizza. And then the tattoos that you put on your tongue. These were so cool growing up, so I thought they, they would enjoy those. Replenishing our top ramen. We don't have this very frequently, but I like to keep it on hand for like a quick lunch, especially because the girls are going to be distance learning the rest of the year. We did make that decision and it's just nice sometimes to have a quick lunch. So I got the soy sauce top ramen, the shrimp, beef, and chicken. Um, two of the good thins. You can have like so many of these. 38 pieces for like three points or something crazy. And they're, they taste a little bit like Fritos. I really like eating these with like soups and stuff like that. We got some box granola. So a cocoa with chocolate pieces, and then this one is granola with mixed nuts. We'll probably mix the two of these and um, let them have that with yogurt. We got the ab abuelita hot cocoa to go with the cinnamon sticks. What else? Some popcorn kernels, some marshmallows for the hot cocoa, egg noodles for the beef stroganoff, um, wagon wheels because they were a dollar and I thought that they would be fun to go in chicken noodle soup or to make mac and cheese with that. My honey got these botanero. Is that how you're saying, baby? A la diabla. It's just a snack mix of nuts and stuff and then another one, another snack mix. And we got some goldfish, the baby kind for Everly. She's been able to eat like Cheerios and stuff lately, so we got her the little goldfish and croutons, a garlic and onion, and a season for the salads next weekend. Well, it's this coming weekend. It's really in like five days. <laughs> and, um, some black beans dried because we are completely out of those. 
See how we're overflowing over here, guys? It's crazy. Two of the regular mac and cheeses in the box. I like to have these on hand, again, for like an emergency. These are really good to throw with some veggies and a pound of beef or chicken or something for a quick lunch. Some Cocoa Crunch, just the Hill H-E-B brand of um, Cocoa Krispies and oat blenders for cereal. We got the shells and cheese, three big boxes of those. And then we got the oats and honey crunchy large value pack of granola bars for the girls. Now we're gonna swing over here. I ran out of room. So we have everything bagels and plain bagels for breakfast for the girls. Or um, we, Andres and I really like the everything bagel. Um, we're doing little, little mini sliders for lunch. And honestly, if I had realized that we got so many of the other buns, I probably would have skipped all these. But um, we got these for little mini hamburgers for dinner one night. Bread, I actually have two of the Wonder Bread for the girls and two Texas toasts. We are going to prep French toast sticks one day for breakfast and then freeze them. That way the girls can have them kind of throughout the week for a quick breakfast. So we got two Texas toasts, two Wonder Breads. They're right there. Two of the Carb Sense tortillas for myself. These are only one point on Weight Watchers. Um, some Romaine Hearts for the salad next weekend. Homestyle tortillas for the girls. I finally found in store the Alani New Fit Snack Protein Bar. This is the Munchies. I'm so excited to try this. One thing of English muffins because I had one in my freezer. And then five dozen eggs. Can never have too many eggs. The bread. Here we get into the fresh produce. So I have five zucchini, five squash, a big bag of Granny Smith apples, a thing of mixed greens for salads for myself or for the girls throughout the week. Back here we have a small bag of sweet potatoes, some sweet mini peppers, some kiwis, a big thing of kiwis. These are, what were these apples? Rome apples. I've never heard of these or had them, so I don't know how sweet or tart they are, but I bought a big bag of them because they were 97 cents a pound so I bought those I have one red and one uh, white onion two yellow onions two mangoes a three pound thing of seedless red grapes and seedless um, green I almost said white green grapes I have a five pound bag of red potatoes back here one eggplant this has been chilling here for probably way too long but they're still good so we've been using them a spaghetti squash this is something i've never heard of before it looks like a ginormous grapefruit and it probably is but it's a pomelo pomelo i'm not sure i've never heard of this before it does say on here it says it's less acidic than a grapefruit red sweet and juicy eat like a grapefruit peel and section so this was I think two dollars for this big thing so I wanted to try it so I picked up one of those four avocados lots of cucumbers for snacking and then for the salad next weekend a humongous head of cabbage for cabbage soup or for lettuce I actually bought it for lettuce wraps and then the um, lettuce for the lettuce wraps some jalapenos for my hinnabini Green onion for the pasta next week. Some tomatoes for the salad and to make some like last bruschetta. I still have some basil, believe it or not. Last bruschetta. Some Brussels sprout chips. These were all 50% off, so I'll have to cook these quite quickly. But um, I got three bags of them to kind of saute up with some bacon and have them as sides throughout the week. Three bunches of bananas. A big thing of mandarin oranges and some celery sticks. So that'll replenish our fruit. I'm feeling good about that. Like I said, we're having shrimp, chicken and shrimp Alfredo. So we're making the Alfredo from scratch. So we got two things of heavy whipping cream. Those of you that bake frequently are probably like, no, Melissa, don't do it. But I bought margarine <laughs> for baking. Um, we'll probably be making some cookies and stuff, banana bread and whatnot over the next few weeks. So I picked up two of those for the freezer. A bunch of these YoPlay greek 100 calorie whips i got strawberry strawberry cheesecake vanilla cupcake um i think that's all they had and then my hand when got these cottage doubles so it's cottage cheese and like fruit so we got pineapple strawberry and there's a peach somewhere in there some lunch meat some beef bologna in the fridge we have some turkey and ham already so we got this just to be different 
unsalted butter for the Alfredo sauce, queso fresco for tacos one night, the jumbo biscuits for um, biscuit, biscuits and gravy for breakfast. There's the peach one. Um, my little Everly is going to be one so soon. And we went ahead and bought her her whole milk. So we're just doing the organic whole milk. We got two gallons. I don't really remember how much they went through. I think they take like three cups, like 24 ounces a day. So one gallon will last us, you know, a few days. So I bought her two gallons of organic whole milk. And then we did one gallon for everybody else of the 1%. Is it 1%? Yeah, 1%. This was like a quick little snack thing that we picked up. It's the pretzel crisp, but it's dark chocolate and peppermint. It looks so good. I can hear Everly screaming upstairs. <laughs> um, some grated Parmesan. This is for the homemade Alfredo. Some Cool Whip. We still have some pumpkin pie, so to go with that. Some sliced cheese for sandwiches. We got the Pepper Jack and Colby and Monterey. I have two big old things of regular pepperoni in the freezer outside, so I got turkey for snacking for myself. Some cheddar cheese. I have broccoli, so I want to make broccoli cheddar soup, and I did not have just cheddar cheese, so I got a big bag of that. I got some sugar cookie dough for the girls. They're going to love making these. These are just like the pre-cut little sugar cookie so i got the christmas tree and the snowman chicken pot pie is on the menu over the next few weeks as well so i got the pie crust for that a big thing of waffles again for a quick breakfast we're going to have pulled pork sandwiches so i got a pork butt roast we had a lot of meat left over from the last couple of grocery hauls to be honest we have tons of chicken still lots of ground beef some ground turkey i have pork um, no, I actually have pork chops and I have some beef cube steak and some beef tips and I have salmon and tilapia and I have one bag of shrimp. So this shrimp, so we have plenty of meat. Um, this shrimp is for about four of these 12 ounces for her party. A big thing of fish sticks, again, for like a quick lunch for the girls. A big thing of these chimichangas. These are the beef and bean chimichangas. And the rest really likes those, so we picked those up. Curly fries for our mini slider night. Tater tots for tater tot casserole. Um, one pack of the rice veggie cauliflower medley. A Texas toast to go with... Hey, what happened to my... Did I say eggplant? I bought an eggplant over there. I don't know if I showed it. It's with the potatoes right there somewhere. Eggplant. So we're going to do eggplant parmesan, so I bought some Texas toast. Um, we have... Swedish meatballs and spaghetti meatballs on the menu. So I bought two bags of these home style meatballs. And honestly, this probably will last two meals each. They're two pounds. I usually use about a pound, a pound and a half for one meal of meatballs. So we should be able to get three meals out of those, which is great. And then a huge thing of corn on the cob. We're going to just do grilled chicken with um, corn and baked potatoes one night as well. So lots of different meals on the menu, lots of groceries. <laughs> I'm so excited to be stocked up again. If you're new around here, which I know a lot of you are not, but if you are happen, if you do happen to be new around here, we uh, are a family of six, two adults, four children. Our children range from almost one to 11, and they're all girls, but they eat quite a bit. I can't imagine those of you with boys what you actually do or teenage kids because this is crazy. We typically spend about $600 a month. Um, I did not, I only had to buy one can of formula um, and I bought it last week because Everly was almost out. So typically our $600 does include her formula as well and she's no longer on formula. Yay! Because it was taking up like anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars a month just on her formula so i think we'll be able to actually cut down our budget a little bit more because she definitely won't out eat that formula <laughs> she won't eat enough food to make up for that formula that she was getting so yeah i think we'll be back to it i typically like i said like to spend about five to six hundred dollars on groceries and it was 527 so right around right around where i like to be i don't think this will hold us over for the next entire month we do plan on going to costco or sam's closer to christmas to get that stuff we may pick up a few things there but very excited to be stocked up again hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what you thought in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one bye